and then finally, um, I think that the self-centered helper um, money is going to be a shadow somehow in the relationship, okay? Um, for instance, to contrast with the unitive, the unitive helper takes money because there's an exchange of energy. The unitive helper is aware that there's a reciprocal responsibility, okay? When I take your money, you deserve to get something back for that, okay? You deserve my highest attention, you deserve my care, you deserve my integrity, you deserve my willingness to be accountable for things that I do that come from here. Um, you know, you deserve me to be on time, you deserve me to pay attention, not be, you know, multitasking when I'm talking to you, etc. Okay? Um, so, so anyway, the, 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 my, my point being that the, that the unitive helper takes money, takes it with an understanding that there's a reciprocal responsibility, but tempers, tempers the desire for money with um, a mission of service, all right? I mean, come on. That's what this is all about. You're not a helper so you can have a nice job. You're a helper because you're serving the plan of salvation. Otherwise, in my judgment, you're missing the point. Okay? And don't take that personally if it's got nothing to do with you. But, but I think any helper who does not have a connection to this um, has somehow missed the point. That's my own personal judgment. Okay, so uh, 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 a helper who's primarily an entrepreneur, who is primarily looking to get paid, um, it, 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 yeah, is missing the point. So, how would this express? Um, it might, for example, express in having a sliding scale. I mean, I think one of the things we have to confront as a movement, at least in the United States, is that if we're charging, uh, let's just say $150 an hour, okay? We're never going to get young people into this, into our movement. Never. Um, you know, if we're saying you need to take, you do need to take our course, and on top of that, so that's a couple of thousand dollars, and on top of that, you got to do 18 uh, helpership sessions a year. That's another $2,700. So basically, if we're saying to somebody who's 25 years old, uh, yeah, you need, you're going to need to come up with about $6,000 to do this. I mean, if you're at all in touch with economic realities today, that's obviously a big reason why we don't have a lot of young people uh, joining the path work. And while, you know, you're certainly as a helper entitled to uh, an energetic return, you, in my judgment, also have a mission of service. And somehow there has to be, it doesn't have to be, but I, I would think that from a unitive perspective, there would be some sort of accommodation of that. And what exactly that would look like, you know, is up to you. But um, uh, in any event, though, though, that's my judgment of what the kind of two sides of the coin look like. And, um, you know, I invite you to, to tweak it, to modify it, to make it authentic for you. And then if you're a helper, to look at yourself in this perspective. And if you're a worker, to uh, you know, maybe take this to your helper and say, uh, maybe we could spend a little time on this and, and, and see if it, if it leads to anything productive in terms of uh, defining and enhancing our relationship. So, that's my offering on that. Thanks.